relax ladies, compose yourselves because this is already the final round. The verdict of your positioning will lay on this question. Okay, the headphone boys are there. There you go. Come on, Sir Jeff Boy. Can we go in the aisle again? Okay. The question, the final question is with us. Our top five ladies will undergo the final question. They will be having only one question. Nakita nyo po, the four ladies had the headphones with them. Siguro hindi nila ako naririnig, right? Number 11. Number 8. Number Hi. Number 19. <laughs> Siyempre, nag-high yung kamay mo, hindi nag-high din. <laughs> naririnig ako ni 18. <laughs> hindi ka naririnig ako tawag doon. Gesture Ayan. yan. Okay. Di ba, ma'am 18? Oh, di ba? 8. Ma okay. Uh, si 11, no? Oh. Uh, Mukhang... Uh... Enjoying the music. Later on, we will be asking kung ano yung music naman nila. Okay? Sure. All right. We, so shall we start the question in the question? All May right. we call now candidate number nine. nine. We will be Sorry, Jeff, We will be repeating the question twice. We will be repeating the question twice to our dear audience. Again, I would like to remind you, please refrain from booing, from making noise, and distracting our candidate in answering the question. Candidate, you may use your comfortable language, English, Filipino, or Ilocano. Are you ready? Ready, ready. This is your question. What are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? I will repeat. What are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? Your answer. Bilang isang Pilipino dito sa bansang Pilipinas, masakit po sa aking kalooban na hindi pa rin inaaprubahan ang SOGI Bill, ang SOGI Bill sa, sa Senado dahil naniniwala po ako na sobrang sakit ng aking puso na marami akong nakikita ang kapwa ko transgender na inaapi sa kalsada, na inaapi kahit sa mang lugar dahil naniniwala po ako Kung dahil naniniwala po ako na bilang isang bakla dito sa ating lipunan, ang kailangan lang po namin ay ang pagmamahal at pagrespeto ng bawat mamamayang Pilipino. Kahit na po hindi naaprubahan ang Soji Bill, ang mahalaga, tanggap kami dito sa ating mundong ginagalawa. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, candidate number 9. Maraming salamat, number 9. Now, may call in number 18. Hi, number 18, Miss Faith Andrada. How are you? To the panel of board of judges, thank you so much for having me here in the top five. Ano yung music natin kanina? Pinta Flores. Kamuntik na po ako magtali. <laughs> Na-enjoy mo naman. Yes. Right. Candidate number 18 will be having your one question. You may, you may opt to answer this in Filipino, English, or Iloco, or Ilocano. Okay? 
I'll repeat the question twice. What are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? What are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? Your answer. Isang napakagandang katanungan ko para sa aming LGBT. Ang katanungan na yan. Isa po ako sa mga nag-aabang nung nakaraang buwan lamang kung ipapasa na po ba ang Soji Bill. I am a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, but until now, I can't continue my profession. It's because some hospital discriminate me because I am not a real woman. I am a real boy in their eyes. Kung maipapasa ang Soji Bill mula pa noong 2002, na ipinasa ni Miriam Depensor Santiago. Marami ng tao, marami ng kababayan natin ang nagkaroon ng trabaho. Dahil ang Soji Bill ay hindi lamang patungkol sa aming mga LGBTQIA. Ito ay patungkol sa mapababae, mapalalaki, mapatomboy o mapabakla. Ang Soji Bill ay ekwalidad. After all, sabi nga po nila, one for all, all for one. That would be all. Thank you. Good evening. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you so much. Candidate number 18. You were mesmerized, Sir Jemboy. Natutulan lang eh, no? Shall we go now to our candidate number 19? Hello, number 19. Oh, relax lang. Ayan, so how are you? Ayan, pasok na. Alam nyo na. Alam mo na. Parang sabi mo lang kanina, di ba? So ito na nga. Galingan mo. Ito na yung final question. Candidate number 19, what was your music a while ago? Yun na po yung tanong. Thank you so much. De joke lang. Um, number 19, you have the same question from the previous two candidates. You may opt to answer my question either in English, Filipino, or Ilocano, or Ilocano, okay? Your question is, what are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? What are your thoughts about the Department of Justice Rejection on Soji Bill. Your answer. I am very sad because Soji Bill is not only for those LGBTQIA plus community. It also to the straight man and the straight woman. Alam niyo po ba na ang Soji Bill is one of the standard nisan ng trabaho. Na kung long hair ka like teachers, na kung long hair ka hindi ka pwede ng maging teacher. Long what I mean is long hair na lalaki. And I believe this is connected on my purpose why I joined this pageant. Because I want to be an ally to those who are not confident about themselves. Because in my 22 years of existence, I've always noticed that the standard of the society is killer. You are not considered beautiful if you don't have a pointed nose, a fair skin, and also a sexy body. And I think this is one of the biggest problems of the youth today is facing, is to believe in themselves. To know that you are unique and that's what makes you beautiful. Stop comparing yourself to others because you are amazing and worth it. And this is what we need to understand. So speak out because you are the leader of your life. You are the voice of your own. And I believe in myself. That's why I'm standing here today. Oh. Thank you so much once Thank again. Thank you so much. Candidate number 19. We're getting Ooh. closer to the final round. Sir Jeff. Okay, so tawagin na natin Candidate number, number 11. 11.
Grabe, gising na gising pa ang mga taga-Urdaleta and even sa ating online world, gising na gising pa, yes. nanunood pa sila sa atin. So, hello sa inyo lahat yan. Maraming maraming salamat. Number 11, kumusta? I feel unbevalent right now and it's because my friend is there and my mom is always there and my father also. Oh, and I would like to thank to my hunter, Mommy Arnold. I love you so much. This is for you. Oh. Mommy Arnold, huh? That's sweet. Uh, what's your, what was your music? What was the music you heard? It's irritating, but I, I enjoy the music. You're, you were dancing a while ago, huh? Yes. <laughs> Do you know the music? No, it is ah, okay. instrumental. Ah, instrumental. Instrumental. Actually, it's their choice, not our choice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have the same question, dear number... 11. 11. Okay, you may opt to answer in Filipino, English, or Ilocano. Okay, your question is, what are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? What are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? Your answer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so when we say Soji Bill, it includes sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression. Every one of us having a sexual orientation, of course. And we have our gender identity. We have our, we have our own opinion to choose whatever we want. But for me, ladies and gentlemen, my thoughts about that rejection is, bakit kailangan natin i-reject ang para sa lahat? Kasi ang batas ay hindi sa iisang komunidad ang batas ay para sa lahat yun lamang ang parami nilang salamat thank you so much thank you number 18 wow. very good size makakahinga na number 11 so tawagin na natin number 8 let's go number 8 eto na one more candidate to answer the question and we could breathe in and breathe out so that we could relax for the announcement of winners. So, Jeppe, would you like to ask our candidate number eight? Yes, of course. Number eight, how are you? Um, to be honest, I wasn't supposed to be here because after 17 years, my, my mom is finally coming home here in the Philippines and I was about to catch her actually. Oh. But I have to sacrifice that for me to be able to be present in this very, very fabulous event. Wow. Thank you, Paul. Birth in yung sacrifice na ginawa ko. Miss number eight, ano yung music mo kanina? Parang malungkot ka kasi kanina eh. Focus siya, eh, you know? <laughs> Love song ba? Hindi. A-A-A. Puro A-A-A. <laughs> <laughs> Nakaprepare ang ating mga voice for non-expected non, non songs. Okay? Your question is the same as I questioned from the previous candidates. Okay? I'll repeat the question twice. You may opt to answer. No, no more time. One hour? Joke. Um, you may opt to answer. You may opt to answer in English, Filipino, or in Ilocano. Okay. Your question is: What are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? What are your thoughts about the Department of Justice rejection on Soji Bill? Your answer. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that is a very um, updated news nowadays. Okay, let me just put this behind. Sure. Okay, Soji Equality Bill. This has been debated here in the Philippines over and over again. People are assuming that if you are going to implement Soji Equality Bill, the very first thing that comes into their mind is same-sex marriage. But then again, uulitin po ho. Wala pong nakasaad na merong same-sex marriage sa Soji Bill. Now, what is my insight on the Department of Justice denying Soji Bill to be implemented here in the Philippines? It is very heartbreaking. It is the reality that we're still ahead of time. Marami pa tayong dapat matutunan at marami pa tayong dapat alamin tungkol sa ating mga kapatid na nagmumula sa LGBTIQ community. 
My dear friends, I believe that we should implement or we should make soji bill as a bill because it will be very effective in protecting the rainbow community against discrimination and equality. Lagi po nating tatandaan ang mga bakla, ang mga tomboy, ang mga bisexual, lagi na lang natin silang ikinokulob sa isang kahon. Kapag bakla ka, pang parlor. Kapag bakla ka, pagpapatawa. Kapag bakla ka, gusto nila kapag sila inyong ini-entertain. Kapag tomboy naman, pagtatawa ng kapatid. Bakit kamo? Dahil sabi nila, ang mga tomboy, pinipilit na magpakalalaki. Pero deep inside, there are still women. Ang mga bisexual, lagi natin sinasabi, oh, bisexual ba yan? Eh, nagkakagusto ba yan sa babae? Eh, sa lalaki lang naman yung nagkakagusto. Right? We are still so ahead of time. We are questioning each other's gender identity and sexual preference na hindi natin alam na pinagdadaanan po ng ating rainbow community sa pang araw-araw ay napakahirap. Ang umiyak, ang namdamin, ang itago kung anong ating tunay nararamdaman. Department of Justice, Nasaan po ang hustisya? Ang hustisya lang po ba ay para sa mga mayayaman? Ang hustisya po ba ay para lang sa mga babae at para lang po sa mga lalaki? Paano naman po kaming inyong mga kapatid na mula sa napakaliit na komunidad na ito? Wala po ba kaming karapan upang irespeto, magmahal at magpakatotoo? At lagi natin ipinapasok ang Biblia na sinasabi kapag ikaw ay pinanganak na membro ng aming komunidad, diretso ka sa impyerno dahil ayaw ng Diyos ang bakla, tomboy, baksesual at transgender. Ito ang sasabihin ko. Ang Panginoon na nakilala ko ay hindi tumitingin sa kung ano ang meron sa pagitan ng iyong binti. Bago siya ay tumitingin sa kung ano ang iyong nagawang kabutihan at kung ano ang nilalaman ng iyong puso. So I should say, spread love. Love is universal. We deserve to be respected. Ang karapatang pangtao ay para sa lahat. Walang babae, walang tomboy, walang bakla. Lahat tayo ay pantay-pantay na nilikha. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you so much, candidate number eight. Yeah, take care. Once again, again, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, candidate number 88. 18 to 8. 88 to <laughs> We are on live. 88. We're now correcting already. It's 8 only. Sir yes, Jeff, from the 100 to 88, huh? <laughs> Don't make me trending again.